they're just so desperate for attention, so thirsty. I uh, I love the Ozempic and I love stabbing myself and I wish it still worked, but it does not make you happy. So I'm kind of maybe in the middle of where you are with this. With this Thank argument. God you're coming around. Thank God. I mean, uh, who- I don't give me too much credit. I If it still <laughs> worked, I would be doing cartwheels. It just, it does stop working. I don't know. And here's the other thing though. Like if I look back at pictures when I was in the heart of Ozempic, like the other day, I looked at a picture of when I last saw Candace at her live show. I remember how I felt in certain pictures, and I was so sick. So, I mean, again, for everyone out there, I recommend it. But, I mean, you do feel fucking really awful for a really long time. Like, it's strong shit. The greatest things about you personally, David Yontip, have nothing to do with your weight. And when you die- I all, know this. We all gather to celebrate your life and roast you. Your weight is not going to be on your grave. So who cares? Well, I care you. less than I did 20 Thank years you. ago. I just wish we could find a woman that would go on a talk show and talk about- I mean, I give them credit for being honest and I give them credit that it, you'll never be fat enough and you'll never be thin enough. But like, okay, great embrace that oh my god i mean i just someone is on a rant today well i just i I don't know because where are the examples for young women of just like because to me your 40s are the best i wish i had listened and seen more examples of women that told me how great being 40 is you don't care you're so secure in who you are you don't you run around less for these men it's just like the it's like the dream if you have a child nothing's better I know you don't like kids if you hate kids, but if you have a kid, there's nothing more amazing than having a child and seeing them, all the life that they discover and the excitement and the positivity they have. It's just, if you have a, I have a good marriage, like nothing's better than that. Like who the fuck cares if like I weigh 135 or 185, I don't care. I've gained weight myself. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, can we get that woman out there? Well, perhaps you are, uh. You're Especially ready. one that has hit the heights that Oprah has. Eat, like, be fat. Be happy. Be fat. Go out there. Show us your roles, girl. Instead, it's like, well, I'm seven, heading to 71 and I mean, trying, I to be, do, trying to be 22. I do love, uh, I do love food. What is the next Bravo um, scandal going to be? I wonder. My ADD has made me ask you that. Is it Teresa and Louie? Oh, I mean, that's a good guess. I really didn't have anything in mind, but that's very possible. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or Dorit and PK. Still don't know where PK. You know, I'm probably going to see PK this summer because I'm going to a culture club concert. Mm-hmm. And I'm doing a meet and greet again. With, and he's always there. So hopefully PK will not know who the fuck I am. And I can just look away and not be seen because I don't want any problems. Could it be? Mia Thornton. Oh God, Mia. I mean, apparently they're they're filming Potomac right now too. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> Ugh. I, I just please look. I I don't, the, I don't think half the cast cares. I've had all the women on. I don't think they care. Believe me, I think I think a lot of those women. I'm not going to name names, but I think a lot of the cast of Potomac would be happy if they didn't get the call again. I think they're over it too. Just a hunch, but put us out of our misery. Atlanta, we're, we're not anywhere, God, darling. We still have a ways to go. They don't have a cast for Atlanta. This is I, this is going to be like a two year pause by the time they're back on TV. If you just get get it right, if you're taking this long, just get it right. Take longer. Take longer. Get it right. I don't know. I don't know how you're going to have Kenya and Portia with anyone just. Not at that caliber. I don't know. And I, guys, please don't say Nini. Please, she's not. It's not. It's not an option. It's, they're not going to go there. I'm sorry. I think Simon and Portia will be next. Simon. Yes, Simon. they're already having like everything's being exposed about him and her. That's going to get ugly. Could <sighs> Simon be into some uh, activity that's not on the up and up? That's what she seems to be alluding to a lot. Yeah, it is. Could we see something happen with Simon? <sighs> um, 
I don't know. It's going to be juicy. Where's Where's Von Teese? Or Von Teese. She had a miscarriage. I can relate. I know. And people were very mean. And uh, that's uncalled for. Yeah, that was horrible. I oh. like Von Teese. Me too. Will Von Teese be back? Where's Von Teese? Where's her mom? Salt Lake. I have to be honest. I'm more excited. I mean, I can't believe I'm saying this, even without Von Teese. Salt Lake, I think because it's new, it intrigues me more than Atlanta, more than Potomac, more than the OC. The OC, yeah. I don't know. It's I'm more excited than ever, but I just hope it lasts. And Jersey, I'm really conflicted. This premiere has left me conflicted. Good. Same old, same old. I'm really torn about Jersey. Oh, I got nothing else to say to you. I'm like out of gas. All right. Buy tickets to our live show. It will sell out. No joke. Right? I mean, it's going to sell out. Oh, honey. We'll probably be sold out by the time this comes out. But but that's yeah. what I mean. I mean, people, it's not just lip service. It really was a lot. And when it does, there's truly, truly, truly nothing. Uh, come we can on, do. pay your ticket and boo us like Kim K got booed at the Tom Brady roast, sweetie, and see how we handle it. Are you ready to be booed? Yes. Have you been booed? I feel like I've been booed. Um, I think if I've been booed when I was I don't know if I've... 99, five days, I feel like we were booed one time. Really? I don't know if I've ever been booed. I've had, you know, people hate me to my face with comments. And... I've been heckled at a live show. Yeah, like, oh, really? I've never been heckled at a live oh. show. Well, maybe you will be this time. Yeah, um, maybe. it was actually a live podcast in D.C. at a Chinese restaurant, I think they'd paid us, or like a sushi restaurant. And we said something about OGs, and a guy who was the, like, Uber Eats pickup guy yelled at us that it's racist for white women to be using the word OG. But really? actually, one of the women on stage was Hispanic. So that was kind of racist of him. Anyone I know on stage with you? Yeah. Your new, um, it was uh, Andrea Lopez Comedy, who's Hispanic, oh. who's now going to be on your Patreon. Yeah, it was her. Ask her about it. We were, yeah, we were booed and he he was yelling at us and we were like, okay, thanks, sir. I've never been booed on stage. Uh, so... Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's fun. This might be come and boo us during the live oh, show. I, you know, bother me. You're entitled. It's your. It's your. It's your thirty dollars. Yep. It's your thirty dollars. Hey, hey now. Or or fifteen, whichever uh, package you choose. You got to be booed if you're. I mean, Howard Stern's been. All the greats have. Well, Howard's a genius, and I love you dearly. You know. Go enjoy the day. I you too, I, honey. There's no enjoyment here. I have work from now until the time I drop dead, oh. but not today. Today's a busy work day, but I love everyone. And I love you. I love you too, my friend. I cannot wait to do this live show with you. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, we're going to have a good time. Everyone get your tickets. We love you. I love, love all you, of you. All, all right. right. Bye. Bye. Bye.